Deion Sanders. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, Deion. Colorado has hired Coach Prime to be their new head football coach. And the contract is a five-year deal worth $29.5 million. That's pretty good. Nearly $6 million a year. But the Colorado AD has already told the media, which I am shocked that he was willing to admit this. Rick George said that they don't have the money yet, but they are confident that they will. Everything will be fine. And so that's just one piece of this puzzle, right? You see all the stuff breaking on Saturday. You know, Jackson State wins uh, wins the SWAC title and just in blowout fashion, you kind of knew it was coming. They're undefeated this year. Like, that's a really, really good team. Uh, they're supposed to go play, I believe, in the Heritage Bowl in two weeks. So that's going to be interesting. Like, is Dion going to coach that? Uh, very curious about that. Uh, the other part of this is the fact that at the introductory press conference and when Dion Sanders was, of course, meeting with the team, he brought up multiple times about how he's bringing his baggage. And uh, he can, you know, he's he's telling these kids to go ahead and, and transfer because you, you're probably not going to have a spot because uh, we don't put up with losing. Like all these different things. You need to go and watch the, the situation there. Uh, the way that that thing went down, it was mind-blowing. And I understand why he did it, but he has not gotten a chance to coach those guys yet. He really hadn't had a chance to break down the film on who could actually be useful to him. Uh, and the way that he went about that, I thought was a little strange. But him talking about uh, Shador Sanders, like introducing his son to uh, that team as, you know, this is your quarterback. Back, and yeah, he's going to have to earn it, but he's coming with. Me. And Travis Hunter, the number one recruit in the country last year, he's coming with. Me. And et cetera, et cetera, right? Colorado has been notoriously difficult at getting transfers into school there. It's why it was considered such an incredibly difficult job because you cannot overturn the roster overnight. You can't do it within a season. You have to wait a while. You have to recruit really, really well because the academic side doesn't always work with the football side. And it appears that that is all just out the window. Uh, unless there's something that I'm missing or or Dion is missing. Uh, maybe they have just opened this thing up to where they want to be a player again in college football. And if they do, you know that the former coaches have to be irate about this, right? Now, Mel Tucker got a much better deal at Michigan State. That's no, that's no question. And he probably would have left for that job anyway. But he told you what the difficulties were there. Uh, then you got Carl Durrell coming in, and he can't get anything done. And when you've got guys that leave, you can't replace them. Like, it's just, it's very, very difficult to do in Boulder. And yet, Deion Sanders comes in on day one. He's talking about bringing in all these transfer guys. I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. I want to know what Colorado ends up being. Uh, but man, this is, this was strange. This was very, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that they're going to be really good so long as they can get all this other stuff done. Uh, but Deion Sanders, I mean, he is already making a splash. This, uh, this should be a lot of fun to see what goes on in Boulder. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.